And the number of migrant crossings in the Yuman El Centro sectors have decreased again in the month of July. This according to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. News 11's Valeria Rodriguez tells us more about how it's impacting Yuma County. The last time the border crossing numbers were this low was back in 2020. Yet Yuma County has not felt the difference. For us, assisting the Yuma Border Patrol sector has been non-stop. Um, the number of buses continues to increase. We have some weeks that we have eight buses a day, and then today we have six buses, for example. So six buses means, what, 55, 300 people. The president and CEO of the Regional Center for Border Health says they are still struggling with the number of migrants. have to support their uh, their needs, whether it's medical needs, they, they, we feed them, we support them with some cloth, clothing or in the transportation, of course, to the airport in Phoenix. Officials say the reason for the decrease is because of the extreme heat. But overall, Arizona has seen an increase in migrant crossings. Yuma County Supervisor Jonathan Lines shares how Yuma Sector Border Patrol still plays a huge role in processing migrants who are crossing in other sectors. Tucson and the Ajo area have actually been sending people to Yuma for processing and also to Calexico and other areas just because of the sheer volume of people that are crossing over in that area. Lines also says that there is typically a big increase in migrant crossings when the temperature starts to drop. Reporting in Yuma, Valeria Rodriguez, News 11.